Meet the smallest and cheapest Honda car in India, the Honda Brio. The front is quite traditional and the car looks rather tiny in profile. But it's the rear of the car that makes it stand out with its rather unconventional design. The Honda Brio is available in four variants starting at 3.95 lakh rupees ex showroom going up to 5.1 lakh rupees for the top end Brio VMT we are driving. The interesting thing about the Brio's pricing is that it appeals to buyers of regular as well as premium hatchbacks. It competes with cars like the Hyundai i10 and Chevrolet Beat and also may interest potential buyers of the Maruti Ritz and Swift as well because of its performance. The Brio is powered by the same 1.2 liter engine that powers the larger Honda Jazz. The Brio puts out 87 bhp of power and 109 newton meters of torque. In fact, the power specifications are comparable to the Maruti Swift, but because the Brio is a lighter car, it feels slightly quicker. The Brio is quite a capable hatchback for daily drives. It has short gearing which helps it accelerate quickly. One can shift into fifth gear at speeds of just about 35 km an hour without straining the engine. And such driving is rewarded by the eco light on the panel that shows you if your driving style is good for fuel economy. Honda claims the car gives 18.4 km a liter. This car is more geared towards city driving with a very short turning radius of just 4.5 meters. See, let me show you this. I'm going to take a U-turn on this road without having to back the car up. Watch this. In a single move, we can take a complete U-turn. And we're done. Now you can't really do this for many cars in this segment. The compact dimensions and short wheelbase make it very easy to drive the Brio in city conditions. However, at higher speeds it does get slightly bumpy. Braking is sharp and precise. The Brio may not be the best when it comes to features, but it has the essentials. You get two airbags, an integrated USB music system, steering mounted audio controls, tilt adjustable steering and electric mirrors the easy to read instrument panel also has a multi info display that shows you average fuel consumption but you don't get a cd player or climate control in any variant with the driver seat adjusted for a 5 foot 8 inch driver there's enough space at the back for a normal sized passenger at best there's adequate leg room in this car for four people to sit comfortably For the middle passenger in the rear seat, there's enough leg room, but shoulder room may be a bit of a problem because the car kind of slopes inward at the rear. A unique feature about the Honda Brio is the all glass boot. This was last seen in the 1984 Maruti 800. Boot space is just about adequate at 175 liters, which is enough for a couple of bags. But if you want to increase boot space, if you have some camping equipment or something like that, the rear seat and space increases substantially the honda brio is an ideal car for daily drives in congested metros The good all-round visibility and nimble handling make it easy to drive in city conditions. If you're looking for a compact hatchback for everyday use, the Brio is a sensible choice.